All right, well, how's everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Watching some volleyball. I've got some people just hanging out today. That's what we're doing. We're hanging out at Lake Calhoun. Last time we were here was on May 6th when we did the cystic fibrosis sham of a walk. They were able to raise over $300,000 for that foundation scam of using cystic fibrosis patients as currency to continue a lie that cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease when in actuality it may or may not be just a selenium deficiency but they refuse to do any research and qualified FDA exams on that so kids are always going to die from that. Hey Lori, thanks for stopping by today. We're hanging out on this beautiful uh, Memorial Day weekend. I say beautiful because... Oh. Hanging out here, it's about mid to low 70s. It's cloudy. It's supposed to rain sometime this weekend, like maybe Sunday or Monday. Probably chemtrailing above those clouds. And uh, we plan on being here for a while. There is a lot of deceived people here. We're going to try to wake them up with some truth. I got some new topics to talk about. Bring up chemtrails. Bring up the $20 million, $20 billion. No, it's $20 million. Actually, it is $20 million. I think I quoted $20 billion on my sign. It might as well be. So I'll have to correct that. But $20 million contract with Harvard to inject aerosols into our atmosphere. It's called stratospheric aerosol injections. It's the official term. So we'll try to wake some people up about that. Obviously. Obviously we're going to talk about fake satellites, NASA CGI, and how there's really no proof that we live on a spinning ball hurtling millions of miles through space. I wonder if they feel nervous because I'm videotaping them. You know, they thought they were just hanging out. Now they're live on Facebook. This is real, real life. Keeping score. Digs, you know, getting your face full of grit and sand. And of course we're going to talk about Flat Earth. Whoa, he just... Destroyed the corner, but that was out of bounds. Let's go around here, see what these guys are doing. Got a pool, right? Pool of water right there. It's been raining for quite a while. Necessarily remember what the name of this game is called, but don't be nervous on videotaping, you guys. It's all right. Yeah, it's a $20 million Harvard contract for chemtrails. So now they're admitting it, and people still don't care. So basically, I'm just going to say everything that comes out of the exhaust of an airplane is chemtrails. Because we don't know anymore. <laughs> Let's go around here. Let's keep walking. Walking around, just trying to get a feel for the area. You know, I'm going to be here for a while, so I'm not really in a rush. But I appreciate everybody stopping by. 
like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to be doing this more often later this week, hopefully. And then do some Google Hangouts. And Why are you filming us? I'm just walking around hanging out, man. Yeah. Food smells good. All right, have fun, guys. Thanks. Yeah, you do know that uh, the f cameras and the microphones on your phone on your phone do monitor you 24 hours a day, right? Okay. <sighs> it's good to see some friction. You know, gets my you know my heart racing a little bit. I actually went to the local grocery store. And I got something to drink. And I go up to the checkout. And there's this guy. He, he looked stoned. <laughs> Which is fine. I mean, if you want to go into a grocery store stoned, that's fine. But try not to look like it. And I just looked at him like I look at anybody else. And then he, he says, sir. Excuse me, sir. And I turn around and I look at him. And he says, did you have a question that you wanted to ask me? <laughs> I, I was really taken aback by that comment. And so I had to repeat it so I could figure out, like, how to respond. And I looked at him and I said, so, you, you asked me if I have a question to ask you? He said, yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, okay, yeah, I do have a question. Did you know that the earth was flat? <laughs> and I said it loud enough for my person who was helping me check out and the people basically within 15 feet heard me say that and so he his response was come on really no the earth is round and I said round like a pizza or a ball and he thought about it for a second and he said like a ball and I said no man sorry and then I'm just proceeding to check out, you know, he's bothering me, you know, right? So he's engaging me, and then he says, is it really flat? And I said, yeah, they lied to you, man. And I'm just engaging in him, but my responses are loud enough for everybody to hear. And my checkout person, I overheard him just saying like, oh man. <laughs> like, I didn't know how he was responding to the conversation or if he felt like I was crazy for saying that or if the guy, since he looked clearly high, he was like, this guy's talking some mess. And I just walked out. But when I was walking out, I was like, I was feeling really good. Like, this guy just gave me an opportunity to ask him a question and I just blew his mind and I blew the minds of those around him 
and they don't realize it, but that was a, a seed that I was able to plant because some guy just wanted to ask me a question. So clearly I'm putting out that vibe, you know? Yeah! Hey, having fun? No, I'm, I'm not very athletic at all and I'd embarrass myself. Yeah. Yeah. How long are you going to be here for? Oh, what do you think, guys? Should I go over there? All right, let's go over there. Then I can... Hey, you know, they, they want to engage. So here we go, guys. We're going to engage. All right. <laughs> sure. No. Okay. And you're gonna take your picture while you're doing it. Right on, man. Okay. Let me just get rid of my keys here. He's gonna use his selfie stick while he's doing bird. There you go. Okay. Hi, I'm Joshua. Oh. Hi, Kelly. Oh, I'm Jeremy. Jeremy, Joshua. Nice, nice to meet you. you. So I'm gonna pick you up with my feet, and your goal is to go. Oh wait, we're live. Here, but that's why you're gonna. Oh, like on Titanic. Yeah, <laughs> Fit and basically. Oh, that's so super. Is your, is your phone ready for you to? Just um. Go? Yeah, it's it's streaming right now. Is oh, this? Cool. Yeah. All right, so yeah. come on over here. Okay. We're doing it. Okay, and then you're gonna have straight back. And you're gonna fall to me like a board, and your hands are gonna come to my hands. Okay. Okay. Lego hands like that. Yep. There you go. Okay. So now that's great. Now you put your chest to the sky. Oh. And then a selfie stick. Oh, selfie stick time. <laughs> nice and, job. Uh, are you left-handed? Oh. You oh. I turn it around. <laughs> selfie <laughs> stick. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Okay, it means business flying right. like a bird. Yeah. Holy crap. Very cool. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, we got a funny face, a laughing face. <laughs> Yay. Someone's laughing. I'll never let go, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Just kind of doing like a social experiment. What's going to happen? Uh, we're just kind of asking questions about what do you think of these like bumper stickers? What do you think? Well, I don't, I don't know um, yeah. what the flat Earth thing is. Uh huh. So I don't know if I have a real opinion. Um, yeah. But you, Jer? I think she pretty much stated it. <laughs> okay. So you educate me about it. Sure. I'm too concerned about having an opinion. Okay, yeah. well, all of us went to public school. Let's just assume that, okay? Mm -hmm. Where do we live? On Earth, right? Mm -hmm. Is Earth a ball or is it a flat plane like a pizza? Well, I've not been on the outside and really look at it. Sure. Okay, that's a, that's a good answer. What about you? A ball? A ball? Yeah. And we all learned that in school, right? Because that's what we were taught, right? Ever since we were four or five years old, we saw a globe in the corner of our... And that's where we thought we lived, right? Well, what if I was to tell you in the last, like, three years or so that there's been a consciousness movement that has brought awareness to the fact that we probably live on a flat earth and not a ball? Because water doesn't curve. What do you think about that? I wouldn't trust you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, yeah, sure, yeah, and it's my opinion, but it's my opinion until you research it yourself and prove me wrong. And I'm live on Facebook right now, and then I upload this to YouTube, and we do Google Hangout live chats, mm -hmm. and we haven't had anybody really come up with some concrete mm -hmm. evidence that can show that we live on a ball. Whereas if you were to look into flat earth, like, concepts and, like, experiments, it would actually show that it is true that we do live on a flat plane. <laughs> now whether that flat plane is infinite or not, you know, we don't know the shape or anything, like if it's like a diamond or anything, but 
What do you think about that? I think it's pretty interesting. I'm it is. Your evidence. Yeah, it's fascinating. And my my name is Joshua Swift. So you can just go on Facebook or Authentic Intent okay. is my YouTube channel. Okay. And check it out. Or, or just Google Flat Earth. Okay. So that's that's really all I got for you guys. I really appreciate your time and that was fun. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have a good fun. Thanks. All right, what do you think of that? <coughs> Turned out better than I thought it would. I'll have to check out that video. <laughs> so, was able to show. So, we're clearly giving off a vibe that I have something that these people want. They don't know what it is, but they're engaging with me, you know? They're, they're asking questions. Hi! Like these guys, you know? So you said hi, I gotta come over and ask you a question, okay? I know. <laughs> hey, that's perfect! That's the best time to start learning. What's going on, man? Yeah, um, I'm Joshua. Yeah, just kind of doing a social experiment, just kind of getting a feel for, like, if this was a bumper sticker, what would you think about this bumper sticker? Legalized flat earth. Yeah. What would I think? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I would, I mean, whether I agree or not, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Sure. Good for them. Okay. So, that's where I leave it, usually. Okay, uh, could I assume that you probably don't agree with the statement or promoting such an idea? I wouldn't agree with it. I think it's an uh, outdated thought, if you will. Okay. Uh, so. so they were able to, 500 years ago, prove that we lived on a globe, but now with the technology that we have, there's experiments online that actually prove that we don't. And that satellites and the pictures of Earth from space that we get regularly from NASA, they're actually all CGI. Why do you have the camera in my face? It's CGI, meaning that you, these are... You, are you saying that it is not what it is? Something that man made? That yes, sir. Makes it. Yeah, it's just basically the imagination of Disney Pixar put into a picture that they actually admit is CGI. Okay. And it's created on a computer. So it actually doesn't exist. Have you ever seen a satellite in space before? Um, I know what satellite looks like, but not in space. Okay, so you've never, <laughs> with your eyes, seen a satellite in space? No, because I've never been up in space. That's a good answer. Okay, so you're basing your, quote, belief system on outer space on what you've heard through other people, right? Same way that you believe in. Sure, yeah, and that's a good point. Um, but having... Although we both have a similar stance, yeah. I believe more in what the scientists are saying. Okay. scientific method is done with... There are processes. Sure, okay? yeah. So those processes are... You can take those processes and then get... Um, get a... You have to have a repetitive. <coughs> you have to have a repetitive uh, the conclusion, observation. Something. Conclusion where yeah. you can prove it. Sure. You know? Yeah. They don't just say, "Oh, it's not. It's so 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 and so is not true because of this," and then just leave it at that. You can prove that something is not true. Yeah. You can prove that something is true based on scientific methods. Okay. So, so you've proved that we live on a globe. You personally, you and is this do your I girlfriend, think, your wife? So basically, do I think that Earth is round? No, round is a pizza or a dinner plate. A ball or a globe would probably be better vernacular. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, I do believe that. Okay. Yeah. And so, based on your own experiments and study of the globe, you've eliminated even any possibilities of the Earth being flat, right? You've done personal observations 
of ships going over the horizon and then they disappear, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, and did you know that when you have a, like, a high-powered telescope or camera, you can actually zoom that, like, ship, for example, back into focus even though it's 40 miles away? Right, but only to a limit, though. Limited by the lens and the atmosphere. Yeah, yep. But we know that there's a curvature in space. Okay. When, when ships travel, let's just say you are at point A on an ocean, yep. you're looking out, and ships goes, right? The ship, ship goes. Uh-huh. And then eventually you can only see the very tip of the ship. Okay, are you sure you've done this yourself? I know that's a fact. Okay, so you've taken every somebody else's word for it? No. Okay. Because I've seen it. With your own eyes? With my eyes, yeah. Okay, but you didn't have any access to a zoom camera or telescope to... To see if you could get that back into focus? No. Okay, so you don't know if you can. You can do it, but the fact is this. If, okay. If a ship is traveling, and then it kind of becomes hazy, right? Because of atmosphere. It's so small, and then it's just like... But you, ha but you have to explain because, it's a, because of atmosphere, not because of a curve, though. But if it's going down, and then you can only see the tip, where you saw... I mean, even seeing the yeah. tip... That tells you uh -huh. that, okay, that, that eliminates the sure. whole atmospheric haziness, whatever, right? Okay. When you see the tip, what does that tell you? The rest of the body has... It's because of perspective, maybe? That's what that might tell me. Have you ever been on a football field before? Pretty sure. Okay, soccer field? Yeah. Okay. They're pretty level, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, they try. I mean, they try their hardest right. to make those, prof like, sports fields as level as they can so it's no advantage or disadvantage right okay so let's assume that it's perfectly level on a hundred yard football field or soccer field okay and at one goal post or one goal line you have a camera that's one foot up from the ground okay and then we start walking towards the other end do you think that you would see the same illusion uh, walking away from the camera on a football field as you do seeing a ship go over the quote horizon. Do you think that's possible? The distance we're talking about is not comparable. But you haven't done this experiment yet, so you, right? You, you can't, this is very, and I don't want to use the word common sense, okay? Sure. But when you're comparing many nautical miles to maybe, I don't know, a few, couple hundred yards, I uh -huh. say, it's not a comparable test. Okay. So, that, 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 that you can't even think that up here. Okay. But, I mean, so it sounds to me like you believe in flat. <laughs> Very much so, yeah. Much and I would so probably say the common sense travel. thing for me, okay, yeah. so let's just say, if you were to travel straight... Yep, on what? Let's just say point A to B. Okay, what's the medium that we're traveling on? Like water, uh, 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 like the, sa the flats? Whether it's water, doesn't matter. You <laughs> but it has to be level though, right? Okay. Let's okay. Just say, um, you're riding a bicycle. Okay. Which is a pain distance. Yeah. You travel, keep going and going and going. Uh huh. And what happens? You're gonna end up at the same point where you start off, right? If the world is rounded, in fact. Okay. But if it's flat as you're saying, yeah. Then guess what happens? Uh huh. You should fall off the earth at some point. Okay. Can I help with a visual so that you can maybe... But what do you think about that point, though? Well, I can give you a visual and I can actually prove the point may be wrong. Okay. Okay. Um, could you just check this this out here and just let me know what you think? That's a picture of the what most people think is a flat Earth map. I don't necessarily uh, agree with maybe the Antarctic around the, the Earth there as holding the waters in. It might be an infinite plane. But just, to, just because you do... Just because you start here and you go around like this, that doesn't mean you're going around the globe, does it? it just means you're kind of going around your neighborhood, right? This is, you got a very wrong perspective. Okay. So let me just say, let me keep it yeah. simple. If you were to travel from the end of this, um, this looks like South America. Okay. All the way across. Yeah. So this is one end. This is the other end. Yep. So you should fall off the earth. Okay, but you would go like from here to this country. Why would you keep going towards Antarctica? Because if you're here, mm -hmm. like for example, I went to Thailand mm -hmm. in 2015, okay. and I took off from California, and all I did was just 
flew straight across to Japan. Okay. Yeah, so they're not. We're not going to keep going this way because that doesn't make any logical sense because the okay. land is here, right? The land or not is not the argument. Yeah, but it is the argument is. though, man, because you're not going to fall off anywhere if you just go across your neighborhood, right? <laughs> but you, I know you, this you, is you new information, no man, and you, it's you, really you, you hard to get you away so from the globe. Say, this is a but I just showed you an illustration right here, man. So your phone does is what? What's your phone for? When we can use Let's the illustration of Earth here. Earth. Yeah, and, and I was trying to do that, but you're saying we don't have any reason to go all the way across. As yeah. long as you can get from here to here where right. you want to go, then you're good. Yeah. But we're talking about hypothetical. But that's not tested, though, man. And that's hypothetical, like like yeah. science is hypothetical, right? So if you're basing it on a hypothetical, okay, your, your view is hypothetical, but I just showed you why somebody would just go to another part of the earth on an airplane, right? So in all the waters, I know you're trying to think, but you have to separate yourself from what you've been taught in school, man. I did. I also did that. I went to public school and, and some schooling too. And that's what they want to teach you is that we live in a ball, man. I wouldn't be here if I was just shooting smoke up your ass, man. This is a very serious topic, and we need to investigate why we're being lied to by NASA. Do you believe in the moon landing? I do. Okay, and what, what evidence do you have for that? Well, this is another whole another debate, but... Sure. Well, it is kind of linked together because, in my opinion, it's just the light in the sky. It's not something that can be physically landed on. Yeah. And it we tells you that in Genesis okay, okay. 1. We have a proof that moon you exist. have or you taking your okay, the word so of the government. To me, explain to me what creates the ocean waves. Uh, usually wind and the tides are created by the moon. It's the gravitational pull of the moon. Okay. You can measure it. Yeah, and you didn't let me finish. I said the wind and the gravitational pull from the moon. It's actually an electromagnetic light, much like the sun. Where, electromagnetic light. Yeah, it's a, it's an idea. That, that's, yep. that's moon, that's what you're saying. That, it's a light, yeah. It's not reflecting the sun's rays. So you're saying this is moon, this is moon, because electromagnetic waves are everywhere. And yep. These are all moons then? No, I, I know what you're trying to do, and that's totally fine. I understand where you're coming from, man, and I used to believe the same thing. But you have to unplug, and you have to really desire to know the truth, I and stop being deceived. I believe in science more than anything. Okay, so it's a religion? It's a religion? Yeah, I mean, because gravity because, hasn't been because, proven, right? Because what is religion to you? Uh, it's a belief, and you're basing it on faith, faith. through and the information of some... Yes, it is. No, absolutely. Yeah, gravity is a, is a theory. Is absolutely the opposite. Okay, do you know what the definition of gravity? What is the definition of gravity? Definition of gravity? I yeah. I to you what it is. I would love to hear it, yeah. Okay. So there's a conventional gravity. Okay. Uh, What's conventional? Like I thought, thought gravity was gravity, though. Well, it's not always been the same. Okay. Okay. Science can always change. That's yeah, the they can. Did you know yeah, that? That's a, that's a did you know that theories are just ideas and imagination theories that have not been proven? Okay. Theories are there, not as facts. Okay. But the beauty of science is that you can prove the theory. Uh, consistently, yeah. then we take that as something true. Okay. Something of truth, right? Sure. That is way better than saying, um, you know what, everything is so perfect, so there must be God exists. Okay, I didn't say so, things were perfect. I don't think things are perfect at all. That's why I'm here. Okay, That's but you can't compare perfection and God's creation to a created idea called gravity, though. Just because your knife weighs more than the air around it, you can't give that a name and kind of come up with a theory and a mathematical equation of why that's happening because then you're taking away from God's creation and you're turning it into a religion and then gravity can't be seen, measured, or heard so how is that any different from believing in a God or a creator? So, let, let me ask you this, do you mind if I record it real quick? Hey, do your thing, man, yeah, okay. yep um, I'm live streaming on Facebook too, so, oh, yeah cool. <laughs> Yeah, I do this, I I do this often and if I encourage you to check out my channel. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'd love yeah. to see that, man. Um, so you believe in flat Earth, right? I believe that the Earth is a flat plane and not a globe like we were taught. So however, whatever vernacular just, you want to use... Just give me one point. Uh, what makes you believe in flat Earth? 
uh, you can observe it yourself and you actually don't have to take anybody else's word for it you can do experiments yourself okay, and, and you can see you that done? on your own what have you done that convinced you that or, or this plan? I've done my own research yeah okay just tell me one sure because you need to ask me for very specific points yep so now it's my turn to ask you sure yeah did you know do you know the equation for the curvature of the earth it's actually eight inches per mile squared okay and there are experiments that you can do yourself with a camera to see that a ship going over the quote horizon can be brought in to focus with a high-powered telescope or zoom lens okay okay and yeah that's something that you've done it yourself yeah besides the fact that this goes totally against so does that make it wrong yeah does that mean it's wrong yeah Okay. There's arguments to everything. Sure. At what point does water curve, though? At what point, when you're looking out into the ocean, you're does water you curve? Why, you know why? Yeah. Those are very specific measurements. I know, but you're. Me. I don't have the answer. I know, but you, but you don't have to be a scientist, man, and you don't have to raise up prophets called science and scientists to a level that you can't achieve yourself. If you go out and do these experiments yourself, okay. you can s detach yourself from the people who are offering you deception. And that's your NASA's, your Neil deGrasse Tyson's, your Lawrence those Crosses. Guys, I love those guys. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just talking about the overall Copernicus and all those other people too. Copernicus was awesome too. Yeah, but he wasn't awesome. He lied to you intentionally. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's he fine was, if you don't want to he, believe it he, now, he was, but I'd encourage you to research awesome it. Because, because he lived in a time where he could have been killed for what he did. Yeah, he and deceived the, the masses. Oh, yeah. The masses were against him because the masses were ignorant. Well, are, do you, would you consider you're, that you're ignorant in the flat earth topic? I'm definitely ignorant in many things. Okay. Certainly not everything. Sure, yeah. But you could admit that you don't know everything, right? Absolutely. Okay, and so could I. So I could admit that I might know particular things about this topic that you haven't researched. So ridicule before investigation is considered the height of ignorance. Really? Yeah, it is. Same way how you approached me then? Yeah. Well, I actually approached you to see what you thought about these bumper stickers. Well, yeah. basically right after And she said hi to me, so... Right after <laughs> Yeah, good. Basically, I'm glad. You said what I <coughs> raised was based on deception. And I was raised the same way. So I'm actually in the same boat as you are and I'm 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 with you, man, in the same boat. Okay. I just well, I just happen to know more about this topic and I encourage you okay. and implore you to look into it a little bit more with an object like a an objective type of mind where you can separate what you've been taught. I think that would be the right thing to do. Yeah. It would, or it would also... Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, sure. You know, and that's oh, fine. Nice meeting you, man. Yeah, you too. And I just encourage you to check out Joshua Swift on Facebook. Joshua Swift. Yeah, Swift. S-W-I-F-T. Okay. Right. Or else on YouTube, Authentic Intent. Authentic Intent. Sounds good, bro. Thanks, man. Really right. appreciate your time, guys. I like yeah. your scrub, by the way. Thanks, man. All right. Oh, I got... All right. Well, I don't usually talk to crowds because I don't want to feel uh, no, no, no. overwhelmed. But okay, I can I can like get you off camera, but I it is the law in Minnesota to record anybody they want, whether with the consent or not. But I can keep yeah. It's Minnesota's law actually. Six two six point zero two. Well, you're off camera, but you're gonna have audio. Leave us, please. Oh, okay. So all right. No, I don't want to be Okay. Well, I would encourage you to look up the earth being flat and just research it, okay? Walk away, please. Definitely round. Okay. Round like a pizza or a box? Walk away. Walk away. I won't. Please walk away. No. Walk away. Did you want to come over here and talk? Because I can I can really help your consciousness and wake you up. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Have you ever seen the Truman Show before? Stop talking to him. Okay. You live in a Truman Show type reality, okay, honey? Excuse me. Okay, yeah. I can explain it over here because your friend clearly walk is away, is really against me waking please you up. So, away. okay. Say walk away. 
Okay, thanks ladies, have a good one. See ya. I know, right? Hey, that's fine, you know? They will regret their friend turning them off. Well, I did get what I needed to get out there, and they overheard quite a bit of what I was saying before, so... Let me just do one of these here, guys. All right, hey, Joshua here. We got... We're wearing scrubs today. Because if Bill Nye gets to walk around as a scientist, I get to walk around as a doctor. And that may or may not be true, but you can come to your own conclusions. Or you can ask me. But just walk around and assume that people think I am something that I'm not, because that's what everybody gets to do nowadays is lie to people. So we're just...